Hey guys, I'm Tumin here. Before I begin this video, I wanted to ask all my country music fans to come check out this YouTube channel. It's a pretty cool channel. So before I begin, watch this video. If I wasn't a country singer, you know, I would probably uh, go back to my Chippendale days. Uh, if I wasn't a country artist, I was actually testing sewage before I got my riding deal. So those were two of the country's biggest stars on the channel, country music, right now. It's a one-stop shop for everything country music news reviews, interviews, and more exclusively on YouTube. So check out the channel now. Annotation is right here. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also make sure to leave a comment of your favorite country topics on this channel right here in this video. Yeah. So guys, the reason I wanted to make this video was because I wanted to show you guys how to download incompatible apps on your Android device. Now you do need Root. The reason you need Root is because without it, you won't be able to download incompatible apps with any Android device. Now this includes uh, tablets, phones, uh, no iPhone or Windows, those suck. But if you have an Android, then you can do this. Um, you do need Root, and it's a very easy process. It's not that hard. You don't need to be an expert. It's really beginner status. So uh, let's begin this story. Here I am with my Galaxy Note 2. This is rooted, by the way. And if I go into my favorite apps, I can see that it looks like this. This is what it's called. It's called Market Helper. And you can't download in the Play Store. You can only download with the link I give you. So if you want to go, just go into the browser with the link down in the description. And then once you're going to come up with this website, you're going to scroll down all the way to like sort of the middle and you're going to find download link and then you're going to download this one where it says market helper. Once you click that link, it's going to download automatically. Here you can see there and you just tap on it and you click install. Very easy, very simple. Now I'm going to show you how to use the app. So once you open up the app, uh, this is what you're going to get. It looks really simple. A bunch of different options to choose from. So let's say you have a tablet. So let's say you have a phone. Well, what if you want to download tablet apps? Here you go. You can choose tablet and you can choose what kind of tablet you want. Or if you have a tablet and you want to download phone apps, you can download phone apps right here and choose what phone you want. There's only three options. I'm gonna go tablet mode because I don't have a tablet right now. And I'm gonna go to the Nexus 7. Um, and then I'm gonna choose what operator uh, I have. So I'm gonna go into the country I want to go into. I'm just gonna choose United States because that's currently the country I'm in. So United States. And I'm gonna choose what carrier I want. So I'll just choose T-Mobile because that's the carrier I have. And then select the account that you have with your Play Store. So I'm going to choose that one, Apple's Meister. Activate it. Once you activate it, it's going to do something magical. And then it's going to say, activate successfully. Your device is now registered. Then you press OK. Then what you want to do is go on your computer. So here I am on my computer, so it's really nice. Uh, if you can go to your computer and make sure you signed in with the Google account you activated with on your phone. And then what you want to do is want to go to the actual Play Store website they have. It's called play.google.com. You just want to search that up. And then you're going to pop up with this website. I'll have a link down in the description as well for that website if you really want it. Then what you want to do is go all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. And then choose. I know you can't see that, but it says my order settings. My order and settings. Then it's going to pop up with your account, all the apps that you downloaded and ordered. Just go into the settings and then make sure that the device that you actually wanted to be activated is checked. And now I can search up apps and download it onto my device. So I'm just going to search up tablet apps. I have tablet apps going to be downloaded on my device. So let's just say I want to download a browser that is only for tablets. I go into the, the whatever app I have and then I click install. I want to choose the T-Mobile Asus Nexus 7 and then I press OK. It's going to download onto your device. Go into the settings or notifications I mean and right there it downloaded. Now make sure that this is actually only for tablets. That's why it's going to look a little weird when you open it up. Sometimes it's going to look like it's bigger than it's supposed to be. That's because that's because it's not supposed to be for your phone. It's supposed to be for an actual tablet. And it's really, very simple. And it does work. Like, I can go into Google or whatever. So if I go here, I can go to Google and search that up. Here you can, you can see that right there. It, it comes up with the actual desktop view. So you can do that as well. YouTube, anything works. You can also play videos as well. Book Express for tablets. And I guess it's only for tablets. So I'm going to try this out. I'm going to try this out for the Asus Nexus. Wow, my phone is actually the Galaxy Note 2. It downloads. All right, open that up. I accept, and you can see this one actually is for. It actually does work. And let's press done. And if I pull out my pen, I can make it work. I can say, and yeah, it's really nice. And you have all these settings. Uh, it 
everything is compatible you can see here everything works the only thing that I don't like is everything's cramping once again but if you can work with it but this one actually does work and it does fit in my device so I guess I can use this on my device even though it's only for supported for tablet and let's say you're done downloading tablet apps and all those apps and you want to go back to normal easy all you have to do is go back into the app and then click restore on every single option uh, you just want to go back all the way to restore and you want to click activate on the account that you used then it's going to say your device has been successfully restored back to normal and there you go it's been restored oh and by the way what's really cool about this app is that you don't even need to reboot your device if you apply it and what's really cool about this app it doesn't touch your build.prop or any system file so it's easier and safer for your device so that doesn't mean it's going to jack up your device at all it's just going to make it so you can actually download tablet apps onto your phone or phone apps onto your tablet and it's totally free like I said before, come check this out. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to How To Men. I know you guys like it. Do you guys like the new YouTube channel? I'll see you guys in the next video. Kapow! Peace.